Hi guys, just a quick video series here to really get into some ways of using Blueprint where what we're going to do is make a simple target range which you can see here. This introductory video I'm recording after the rest of them have been finished so you can see the final result. What we have is a little target range where the player can move forward, targets pop up, we shoot them all down, and when the last one in any given area is shot down, the door opens to the next bit. And the same thing happens again. The tar as the player walks forward, targets pop up and you shoot them again. Now notice there are three different target types. You've got these round ones which swing down from the top. These sort of squarish rectangular ones that you choose and they spin around and then explode. Or well, accidentally hit one of these panels as well. And then these panels where shooting the stem will do nothing but hitting the panel itself will cause it to fall over and blow up. And then once again when all of them have been done room opens and notice in the top left of the the play window I've got my time there 59.6 seconds which is terrible but to be fair I was trying to explain what I was doing and um, we're going to develop all the blueprints for these targets and for the doors and for knowing when targets have been shot down all that good stuff and really the thing that this all hinges on is something called inheritance which you may have come across before if not basically it's the idea that these targets these three different types of targets which are this panel target, this spinning target, and this round target are all so similar to each other that if we were to make them a separate blueprint we'd be duplicating a lot of the work. So what we do instead is make what's called a base blueprint which defines functionality common to all three of them and then all three of these blueprints just inherit from that base blueprint and add on the functionality unique to them and it saves a lot of work and time. It's useful techniques to know how to do. And uh, that's what we're going to be building over the course of the next, I think it was six or seven videos in the end. I try to keep each one to less than 20 minutes because people tend not to like very long videos. Some come in around the just under 15 minute mark. But um, yeah, none of them are too long. Um, the reason why they're a bit longer than they need to be is one of the comments I get quite frequently about this channel is people like it how I go really in depth into explaining why things work instead of just telling you click here type this in. It's like click here type this in and here's why we need to do that. The issue with that is that takes time and it makes the videos longer and as I've said people don't like very long videos which is why I've sliced this up into several parts. Um, so if this looks like something you'd be interested in uh, watch the series and let me know if you have any comments. Thank you.